Uh, absolutely. I mean, my view has always been that there should be a clear separation uh, between the cabinet, uh, which is the executive role, if you like, and uh, planning, uh, which is quasi-judicial, where there's no whip of, by political parties and so forth. And uh, because as a, an executive or cabinet member, including the leader, but particularly the leader, uh, you've had a role, you're either the applicant or you sold the land or you stand to benefit as a council in terms of the uh, community infrastructure levy, the, the various Section 106 agreements and so forth. So you have quite a vested interest in the outcome. Um, so I think there is, uh, it is desirable, as with most councils, uh, that there is a clear separation and it's certainly desirable the leader does not sit on the main planning board that deals with all the major decisions. Thank you very much. Uh, Iris, yeah. do you want to comment? I, um, yeah, just uh, briefly. I agree with David. Um, like David said, this is a, um, it's a, you don't, there is no whip on the planning, um, planning board. However, if you've got the leader of the council sitting on the planning board, uh, councillors will be swayed, officers will be swayed, because you don't want to upset the leader. And if the leader is in support of the application, uh, you won't get you won't get true objection, and I think it is best not to have a leader on the planning board. Thank you. I think, I think my colleagues have echoed my feelings. Um, I do <coughs> believe that there should be clear separation, and that's one, something that I'm going to make sure that happens. Thank you. Right. Thanks very much.